Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. So a brand new video for you today. I'm going to show you how to mine very block. So this is a new project. The main net has launched just today. I'm not familiar with all the details, but I've had a brief look of it and this project does look quite interesting. So I've taken a look. The project looks quite easy to mine. So I'm going to show you it out with you in this video today. Help you guys get up and started mining very block. Let's jump into it. Okay, so you can see here I've got the miner up and running. So I'll show you how to get started mining uh, yourself. So you want to open up your web browser. The website that you want to visit to, it's actually a pools website. So it's veryblock.luckypool.io and it will take you to this website. I'll put a link in the video description for you guys to help you get started with it. So the first part that you need to do is you need to download the latest version of the Java JRE. So it's this link here, which opens up this window. And then you want to download the one that's most appropriate for you. So in my particular case, I downloaded the Windows 64 bit using this link here. Once downloaded, uh, obviously go to your downloads folder. You can start the executable and get that Java installed. So do that first. The next part is to download the make address.zip and then you can also download the Nvidia or the AMD one and that's most appropriate for you. So I've got a GTX 1080 Ti. I'm using the latest drivers on or thereabouts. Um, so I downloaded the CUDA 10 version. If you've got an older like 900 series card or an older Nvidia card, you probably might want to use the older CUDA version, which would be this one here. And if you guys are obviously got an AMD uh, GPU, then you want to download the AMD miner using that link there. So download uh, the make address file and the miner uh, that is relevant to your graphics card. You can see from the downloads, I've got the make address and the miner both there. So I've saved those to a download folder and then just moved them to another folder before extracting them. So you can see here, I've now got two uh, folders. So one is for the make address and the other one is for the miner. So we're going to get started with the make address file. What this is going to allow us to do is create a uh, very, um, uh, sorry, a very block uh, address that we can later import into like a proper wallet address. So this just allows us to get up and started without downloading the whole wallet sync in the blockchain, etc. So it's just a quick way to get started. So take a look in the make address folder. You'll see a bin folder. And inside you'll see a make address dot bat. So you want to uh, double click on this and it will create two files. So you can see that it's got this make address dot log and you'll also see an address dot bat file. So these are the two files that you need. So if you look in make address dot log, you'll see that the address has been created. So this part here that I've highlighted that becomes your very block address. So you want to copy that down or make a note of it. The second part is this uh, .dat file. That is what is, is the form or the basis of your wallet uh, file. And obviously any coins that are associated with it will all be in this file. So don't lose it or corrupt it or anything like that. So you want to copy and make a backup of that file. So for the time being, you just want to double click and get a copy of your wallet address, which looks something like that. So just control and C. The next part is setting up the miner. Uh, whoops. So I've got the CUDA 10 miner. So if you take a look in that folder, you should see something like this. So there's a run.bat file. And in this case, I'm going to right click and then edit. Uh, the part that you want to focus on is after this hyphen U, you'll see a space. And then you've got this part here and it will probably say something like add your address or put your address here, something like that. So you just want to replace that with your own address. So for example, so we've just copied that from that make address lot log file and we've put it into this batch file here. So we want to file and save as, we'll save it as demo.bat and save as type. We want to select all files, otherwise it will get saved as a text file and then you want to save you can close that, we can close the other one. So now we've got this demo.bat, which is ready to run our miner with our updated address. So I'll show you how the miner starts and how it looks. Yeah, you can see at the moment my uh, 1080 Ti is running uh, roughly just under 
um, 795 mega hashes a second. It did start off much slower, but it's been progressively building up. Seems to have steadied out a little bit now, but it did start off at 300. So if your miner starts a lot slower, um, then don't worry too much, it should build up. But I'll show you how it looks when we start up the miner. So we'll close that instance and we'll run the demo.bat with our new wallet address. And you can see it's found the CUDA devices. So it's the GTX 1080 Ti. It's got some other information. I've not played too much with the settings or intensity or anything like that. I've just left it all uh, bare basics uh, just to get quickly started. And so you can see here that the hash rate is, is actually building up much, much faster than it was before. Uh, when I was running it previously, it was probably running about 20 minutes or so before that hash rate built up. So I'm not too sure exactly what's going on behind the scenes with the algorithm. I've not looked into it too much, but it's certainly um, the hash rate is picking up much faster than it was previously. So if your hash rate is uh, starts to build up more slowly, then don't worry too much. Um, it seems to be quite normal. So a bit different from other miners. So that's it. You're up and running mining very block. Uh, just going back to the pool, you can see um, some stats and some information. I'll stop that miner running uh, just there. So you can see here where you've got the start mining. So in this section here, you can enter your very block address, which is the one that we've just created. Click on view stats and it will show you some stats. Uh, to give you an idea of what those look like, here's the address that I've been mining on. Like I said, I've only been mining it roughly for around about 20, 20 minutes or so. So there's not an awful lot of information there. I can see that we've been included in five rounds. So I guess that's five mining rounds or five blocks. I'm not 100% sure. And we've also got some shares and also I guess this is our contribution to the pool as a percentage. So at the moment it doesn't look like any rewards. I can't see any rewards or any payouts or anything like that. I'm really only just getting started with it. Okay guys, so I'll leave it here for now. Um, as I find out more information about this project, I'll, I'll present and provide that to you guys. But I just want to give you guys a quick heads up, a quick start so you can go and uh, jump on board this and maybe it's something that's uh, good for you and hopefully profitable for you. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.